Okay, for this question, we are supposed to find a and b given that 5x squared plus 52x minus 19 is equals to x minus 7 multiplied by ax plus 4 plus x plus 3 multiplied by bx plus 3 for all values of x. Alright, for this question, can you see that we want to find the values of a and b which is here and here. So my strategy, you must always have a strategy and my strategy is to expand this and later we compare the coefficient. Alright, so how are we supposed to go about doing it? So let me write down the question first. I have 5x squared plus 52x minus 19 is equals to x minus 7 multiplied by ax plus 4 plus x plus 3 multiplied by bx plus 3. Alright, so this is my question. Now on the right hand side, I have to expand it out. So when I expand it out, I have ax squared plus 4x minus 7ax minus 28 all right so for my next one i will expand it out again i'll have bx square plus 3x plus 3bx plus 9 okay now i will group my terms together i have x square and i have x square so i group them up so i have a plus b x square all right so for my x term i have to be careful i have 4x negative 7ax 3x and positive 3bx so when i group them up i will have 4 minus 7a plus 3 plus 3bx and now i have my constant term negative 28 and 9 so i put them together in this manner so i can see that my 4 and 3 i can still simplify them so i have a plus bx square plus 7 minus 7a seven plus 3bx minus 19 all right so now i'm ready to compare my coefficient can you see that on my left hand side i have 5x square but i have a plus b x square all right so i can actually say that 5 is equals to a plus b okay for my coefficient of x i can see that 52 is actually equals to 52 is equals to 7 minus 7a plus 3b okay i can get this as well for my constant you can see that it's negative 19 and negative 19 this is also one way to double check your answer so when it's both is negative 19 we are good to go so now i'm just solving a simultaneous equation i have two equations so i'll start from my first equation i can make a my subject a is equals to 5 minus b so i sub I call this equation 3. I sub 3 into my equation 2. And I try to solve it. So I'll have 52 is equal to 7 minus 7, 5 minus b plus 3b. Alright, so it's my 52 is equal to 7 minus 35 plus 7b plus 3b. Okay, so you can actually see that if I bring over, this is 10, 10 B. My 10 B is actually equals to 80, and my B is equals to 8. All right. So now I have to solve for my A. So A is equals to 5 minus B, which is equals to 5 minus 8. So my A is equals to negative 3. So now I have my two answer A and B.